Hi everyone, it's Craig here from Pure Dead Gaming and I'm here today to bring you a first impressions let's play of Hot Brass, which is a new PC indie game from development team Walk With Kings. So this is a tactical, sh not tactical shooter, a tactical SWAT game. Uh, looks very, very interesting. It released on Steam on the 26th of February, I believe, so just a few days ago, and it is currently at a launch discount price of £9.11. Very affordable. So let's check it out. Here we're going to just run through the tutorial and maybe have a shot at the first mission. Just basically our first impressions and see what we think of the game. So it is a 1-4 to four player co-op, but I'm told it's no problem to play it by yourself, which is what we will be doing. So we'll need to create a new profile. We'll call this... Deed. And... The rest of that all seems okay. Confirm. So, yep, back. So we have our player there. Confirm. So our first mission is going to be training, given as the lay of the land. This is showing us what we're going in with. Primary weapon, secondary weapon, flashbang, breach charge, some light armour and a tactical camera. A bit ominous that I've called myself Deed, which is a kind of Scottish term for dead when we're trying to stay alive here, but we'll run with it. So straight away you'll notice that the graphics are, instead of, it's a top down perspective, but instead of using actual enemy designs. It's almost, I likened it earlier to kind of Cluedo almost, like you move as this character here. But it's an interesting way of doing it. So we have to move, first of all move our character into the colour assigned area, which is this. So let's head through. Now what you will notice is, although they've obviously went very minimalistic with the characters, the despite the top-down perspective, the actual rooms and areas are pretty high res and well detailed. So while we're moving, we can sprint by holding A. I am using the controller, even though we're on PC, I just I prefer controller input. Although it does seem like a game that if you are good, might be better with the keyboard and mouse. So hold left trigger to crouch. So we need to crouch under these lasers. So obviously this is very basic tutorial but it's stuff we're going to need to know. Hold A to slide over obstacles. There we go. Quick note, when we do run, I love the sort of shuffle that the wee sort of character piece does. Just to show that you're sprinting, really cool. And X to interact. So that was a success. Hold to show the HUD. Use R to change levels. So that's that completed. Let's shuffle through. Do we get anything in here? No. And up to the next floor. Hold X to unlock doors. Use X to open and close doors. So this must be, yeah, that's a locked door. So if we hold that, it's going to lock pick. And then we can press that to open up. Breach and clear. 
Okay, let's so shuffle on over here. Hold RB to smash windows. Nice. I've not played a lot of these SWAT games. They always interest me. I did a while ago. This would have been years ago. I played a SWAT game. I think it was the SWAT series. It was SWAT 4 on PC. It was a, a sort of 3D third person shooter. Well, tactical shooter. And I loved it. It was really, really good. I might actually have a look and see if that series is still going. Or even download SWAT 4 again because it was excellent. I do like these sort of more tactical approaches. Hold Y next to the door to use the camera, under door camera. And then press B to activate the night vision, okay? Very cool. So we can switch between night vision and just regular under door camera. Press R to use your torch. So you can toggle that on and off. Once again, pretty cool. I really do like the style of this game. I think it's it's really, really cool. Up equips your primary. Down switches us to our pistol. Holding will tell us what our ammo is like. Fire at hostile targets only. Press B to reload, check ammunition. There we go. So yeah, I really like the style of this. I'm Hoping it's going to come to console as well. I think it could be very, very cool on the Switch, and I would also love it on PlayStation or Xbox so I could get those trophies and achievements. So, left and right is to go via gadgets. So, we've got a flashbang, and I believe that cog looking item is a sort of breach weapon, but I guess we'll find out. Let's go through here, so we need to throw a flashbang. Press and hold RT to throw flashbang. B cancels. There we go. That filtered the damage. Let's take a wee jog on. Yeah, breach and charge, that's what I thought. So we want to walk up and hold next to the surface. So this will be him fitting it. And then. Breach. Nice. See, even things like that, like the explosions, look really good. So it would be easy to look at a screenshot of this game and think, oh, they didn't bother to make characters, like they're just sort of almost like circles, but like little character pieces, but you can tell by the rest of the game and how polished it looks that this was clearly a character choice, like a development choice, sorry, rather than, oh, this is what we need to do. Very, very cool. Okay, some situational training. Characters are hostile, neutral, compliant. Hostile characters can be neutralized with lethal force. Compliant should be detained. Okay. That seems fair. Press LB to shout and reduce a character's morale. Okay. Freeze, Freeze motherfucker! There we go. We've broke him. Broke the man. So now we just handcuff him. Okay. He's been dealt with. Oh, 
Hold RB to tase stubborn characters. Shout until the character becomes stubborn. Okay. Quite good at shouting at people until they become stubborn. It's my go-to at work. Just to noise people up. And then we've got my annoyed. Oh, oh. We comply now. Detain the target. Let's arrest them. I should say when I say it at work, I'm not a police officer, I just like noising people up. So, pick up evidence. And that completes our tutorial. So we'll continue to the debriefing. Did quite well. New mission unlocked. My issue will be trying to remember all these controls as soon as we get into an actual mission. I have been known to panic in a live situation, but we'll see how it goes. This is definitely a game that I plan to try and master though because it just looks fucking excellent. It really does. It's so much. I don't know how it's coming across in a video. Maybe it's not the type of game that's that fun to watch someone play, but to play it's very good so far. Okay. It's a nice pad. Guy clearly can't park his car. Hold to show the HUD. Standard sort of room set up. Okay. So, hold Y next to the door to use a UDC. Let's open the door here. Looking under the door. Civilian spotted. Oh, yep, there's one there. Okay. So, we want to unlock the door. Shout until they become compliant. Okay. Stay calm. Objective complete. So we've rescued a person by handcuffing them, making them easier for. Oh. Shut that door. It's a guy around here. Show me your hand. Let me see your hand. On the ground. Hold still. Nice. Two for two. No one in here. Yeah, I know. I'd use a UDC or not. See, that's one thing. Sometimes it's a wee bit difficult to know where the door is. There's a door there. Okay. No, no one in there. Looking under door. No one in there. Okay. Couch behind cover. Okay. Makes me think that's going to be needed just directly. Under the door. Right, we've got someone in there. Stop where you are. Hands up. Shit. Why did that person disappear when I was ducking? Motherfucker. Right, where am I? Have I just frozen the game somehow? Restart mission. 
see I guess if these missions are laid out the same every time I could just basically go in and wreck that fool this time. So cool that when you go through bushes like that, they go slower. I've got someone. Fucking opened the door the wrong way. Get back here. That is quite bizarre that that door opened the other way. Oh, it's a double door. Fair enough. Fair enough. Nice. So, so far I've, all I've done is taken out two civilians. So but as much use as fuck all. Right, so there's no one in there again, which makes me think that Look they're always going to be in the door. same place. I think I'm just going to shoot this one. I think they were wanting me to hold RB to tase stubborn hostile characters firing upon any other armed characters considered excessive force. But I know from my previous life that he was going to use excessive force. Let's have a look under here. Oh, I've got somebody in here. Right, so... <laughs> Take some of that! Awesome. Guy tried to run and he got tased right up the ass. Am I going to get into bother for using excessive force? Nope. So that is sort of a workaround then, because I only knew he was going to use excessive force from my previous time when I died, so you can sort of then go in and explore a map and learn from your mistakes, which is quite cool, I like that. Yeah, this, hey, this seems like a really, really cool game. It's not getting a lot of press, just because it's quite a smaller title, but it looks really, really cool. If you play games on PC, if you like tactical games, I definitely recommend checking this out. I'm loving it so far, and it's one that I will be installing on my laptop and playing on the go as well. A uh, Switch release, like I said, would be absolutely perfect. I don't know if they, they do have plans for that. I think I'll maybe reach out to the developers and see what their plans are. I would hope that it's coming to console, although I realise that can be expensive. but. Yeah, just a really cool game. Check it out if you can. And thanks for watching this First Impressions Let's Play. You can catch more of our videos on the channel, Pure Dead Gaming. We also have a website, puredeadgaming.com, where you'll see reviews, including a review of this game in the coming days and maybe week, depending on my schedule. We also have a podcast, which is Pure Dead Gaming, which you can get on any podcast services including Spotify and that's pretty much all my plugs. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the other side.